Hey campers, George here. As you can see, I was playing in the uh, South 40 Man Cave. Been working on big stick number four. Been making holes in it. Cutting out notches and things to get it going. And uh, I was just putting everything away. And then I thought, you know, I think I'll share with you my bushcraft tool roll that I came up with. After checking out everybody out there, what they're using, what they get and seeing what recommendations are out there. I got myself a tool roll with all the wood carving stuff I think I'll ever gonna need. <laughs> so I thought before I put it away I'll just share that with you quickly so you can have a look see what I got. Let me know what you think and I'll put a link below to all the different things there. I think I've got most of it on Amazon so if you want to go and have a look there uh, that'll help. I'll put some links down. And then We'll go through it together. Let me know what you think. Okay, so here's a, a close look at it. As you can see, I have a just a handkerchief type thing. It's bright orange. I'll keep it so I won't lose it. This is actually a piece of leather from an old glove and the finger and the, the hand part that I use just to protect me and this from me. And this is a Scotch one inch steel auger drill. You have to make your own handle for it. Used for making big holes, obviously one inch holes. And I'm um, hoping that eventually I'll actually get to use this. <laughs> what you would do is make yourself a, a handle. This is obviously the not, not the right size, but you'd put it in there, which allows you to give it a good twist. Doing it this way ain't gonna work. There you go, Scotch auger one inch and uh, I have a little thing here to protect it for me then I have an old timer I believe it's a 240T uh, carving tool it's a six inch one um, has a bunch of uh, different blades on it which allows you to carve different things as you can see there all sorts of different ones on it uh, to be honest I tried it out once and I was kind of disappointed. It just seemed that everything wasn't very sharp. And I think it's that and my ability to use it. It's going to take some practice. It has a bunch of different uh, cutting blades on it for carving. So hopefully I'll figure that out and get it sharpened and everything and it'll work. And then here I just have a, a little folding pocket knife. Uh, no big deal. Just have it in there just in case. I have two chisels here, two wood chisels that were part of a bigger set. These are the two I figured I'd need size-wise. Um, that might change. This might go, and I'll go with the, the thinner one here. But I think it came in a pack of like six different sizes. This is a one inch and a three-quarter inch. That may change. I'll still have chisels, but they're not going to be the same size as they, they're probably going to change. And then I have these guys. And these are steel twist gimlets. And I have the uh, same thing again. They came in in a pack. I think there was six again. And I thought these were the ones that I wanted, which was the, the kind of the bigger ones. Same idea as the one inch auger, except these are smaller and you can make small little holes. And as you can see, they have little cutting blades on them. So I have that. Those are the gimlets. Down here, I just have a cloth tape measure, just in case. I have this guy for digging out things, and this is kind of a dentist tool type thing that will help me dig out wherever I need to. I have some sandpaper in there. I don't know if you can see that there. And then I have this guy, and this is just uh, uh, called a square blade. And as you can see, it's it's a, a square bladed. Dig things out, make holes, that sort of thing. This I made myself, and this is just my toggle tool that I just keep in here. I have a carpenter's pencil, and then I have a Mora knife wood carving tool, which uh, I'm sure a lot of you have seen a lot of them are familiar with. This can make that spoon for you and dig out a nice 
uh, dig into the wood to get you that spoon shape that you need. Surprisingly, like most Mora products, it's pretty good and fairly inexpensive. And I have a couple of small pieces of bank line that I just keep in there, tie things up if I need to. I have my do-it-yourself lightweight mallet that I made myself practicing woodcraft. And you can see here, I actually drilled a hole through it using it, the gimlets to get that cordage in there. Yes. Most of these things are sharp objects, so I do have some gloves just for safety purposes. Then I have, of course, sorry, the tool roll. The actual tool roll itself is this guy here. And you can see here it's from Rustic Town. It's just a plain leather, good solid leather tool pouch. There, there is a bunch of choices out there. doesn't have to be leather. You can get some great tool pouches with the latest materials in that. I just wanted a woodcrafty look, so I went with leather. I do, when I take things out with me, is I'll, I do have a notebook. And I keep that notebook uh, just for ideas and things like that. And you can see I've been writing naughty notes to myself about it. So uh, handy to have. That's a fairly big one. You can get little pocket size ones which you can just carry with you. Not only that, I also would have a bushcraft knife. I have a, a steel uh, folding saw. That's probably going to go back into my packs. I did order another one, a smaller one that may be better for what I need it for. And then, of course, I have my bushlaw knife that would be part of my bushcraft stuff. So that's basically what I would need to do any wood carving if I'm out and about. I'm sure that's more than enough than I need, of course. You know me, I always overpack. So there it is, a real quick look at uh, my tool roll that I use for bushcrafting. Uh, really for wood wood carving, that sort of thing. I do do a lot of it. I've done it for a long time. I, I find a piece of wood and I just sit there and whittle away at it. And without even thinking about what I'm doing, I'll just do different shapes and things like that on a piece of wood. And from there, I've got further and further. I started watching videos, got some ideas, and I thought, you know what? I can use this when I'm making myself a walking stick, you know, a hiking staff can carve some stuff in it and do some interesting stuff with it. I find it very relaxing to do, almost as much as fly fishing. So it's become another hobby for me in the outdoors. And very relaxing. <laughs> and as you can see, folds up nicely in a nice roll and pops into my bag here. My good self mallet, my notebook, put that away. Typically, if I'm just going to wander outside or come down here or sit by the fire, this bag is enough for me to do it. Got any ideas I should add to it? Let me know. Anyway, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. Guess what? UPS dropped off a parcel for me today. That's the good news. Just saying. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Right now, I just carry everything in here. I'm still trying to find me a nice, bushcrafty, small, compact pack. Still working on that, not having a lot of success. A lot of them out there are just out of my range.